I'm Nick Moore and this is the new Kramer Kit 400. The Kit 400 is a specially matched set of transmitter and receiver that are sold together in a single box. The Kit 400 is specifically designed to be of use in classrooms, lecture theatres, uh, school halls or multi-use spaces, meeting rooms, in fact anywhere where there's a need to bring your own device. The units also include our Maestro automation feature which will be set up by a systems integrator and will allow a classroom for example to be switched on merely by plugging in a laptop to the transmitter. This automation is particularly useful at a time when we're trying to reduce touch points. On the front of the Kit 400T we can see both inputs and source selections. There are four source selection buttons to choose between the two HDMI inputs, the analog computer graphics input and the remote input. You'll also notice the 3.5mm audio jack which accompanies the analog PC input. On the back of the unit we can see the de-embedded analog audio output, a LAN port for control of the Kit 400T, there's a control RS-232 port and a data port for tunneling over HD base T, the contact closures for remote input selection and for volume control, a reset button, setup dip switches which control things such as the auto switching mode and the uh, audio modes. Got a USB port for service, the HD base T out, power over cable control, and the 12 volt DC input. Now let's have a look at the front of the Kit 400R receiver. There's a USB port for performing firmware upgrades, a manual selection button to select between HD base T and the local HDMI input, the menu button and menu controls, and a couple of link and on indicators that show when the device is powered up and when a link is established to the transmitter. On the back of the unit, you can see the HD base T input and the local HDMI input the output over HDMI and the 5-pin terminal block connector for balanced stereo audio. Next you can see the contact closure which will allow you to turn a display on or off by momentary contact. There are RS-232 ports for connecting to a serial controller or connecting to a data source or acceptor and a relay that will allow devices such as motorised projection screens to be uh, controlled. There's the power over cable switch and a 12 volt DC connector for power. Now that we've had a close look at the front and back of the Kit 400, we're going to look at it in operation. So as a source, I've got my laptop and that's connected to input one on the transmitter. And I'm coming out over HD base T on this Kramer BC Unicat cable and the power from the receiver is also being transmitted into the transmitter so I've got no separate power connected here. So the BC Unicat cable is connected to the HD base T input of the receiver and I also have this Kramer 860 test pattern generator connected to the remote HDMI input on the receiver and I'm coming out over HDMI into the LG display. Now if I want to select between the various different sources, I can go to the uh, Kit 400T transmitter and I've got my input selected from the PC and now I can choose the remote input which is the 860. And when I've finished with that, I can go back to the input that I want. So the Kit 400 supports ranges over HD base T of up to 40 meters at 4K60420 and up to 70 meters at 1080p. They support HDCP 2.2 and HDCP 1.4 as well. 
you can power either the transmitter from the receiver or the receiver from the transmitter using the power over cable facility. For more information on the rest of our switcher scalers, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.